Hi everyone and Happy New Year. I have been away from doing any golf design and uh, using 2K21 for about two months now. The holiday season is always crazy uh, with uh, Christmas, family, vacation, you know how it is, and uh, just getting back into the groove again. So I wanted to come back to the golf course that I was uh, designing uh, in the fall and uh, continue moving forward. We had uh, roughed out to 18 holes and I want to show you the next piece of that puzzle but uh, first thing I wanted to show you though is is a little bit about inspiration I want to talk about what makes your course different uh, there are literally thousands if not hundreds of thousands of courses now at 2k21 what's going to make your course stand out is it going to be something fantastic that isn't realistic is it going what is it going to be and uh, for me what I think makes my courses a little different is inspiration and that leads to some interesting promo videos as you've seen and uh, and it kind of helps me push through this next phase of golf design in deciding how to um, come up with inspirations for each hole, for the whole entire course. And uh, when I look back, you know, Island Springs was uh, a real course. It was a recreation of a course that I built in real life. And uh, so I really didn't have to do much more than just recreate. Uh, my first uh, course, Storm King Golf Resort, I wanted to build something that was fantastic. A big, huge country club with a helicopter landing pad and and some big running holes uh, where you just, where you just uh, crank it down hills and roll it into valleys and play over water. Uh, my next course was Rattlesnake Gulch. A lot of people still love playing Rattlesnake and the inspiration there was just that that uh, desert type of landscape with this big green area with water and then the rest of it goes into these dry canyons with cactus and so forth and 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 that kind of came together once I figured out that that's what I was going for. Miramichi River, the focus was the river. This river was winding through the entire course and you played back along and over uh, the river and, and came up to kind of a, kind of a weekend getaway resort type of feel to it. Uh, and then my most recent course is Rutgers Canyon and uh, that one I fought I fought a lot with trying to figure out what the inspiration was. I, I thought river with a big canyon, some slope. And then finally it hit uh, through this ship in by this little island that was off the mainland, sunk it, uh, put a cross there and thought, let's come up with a story, a backstory, you know, something uh, where this was built around a little bit of history. And then from there, it all kind of came together for me. And I and the whole course became the opportunity to get these beautiful vistas where you'd be putting on a green, but off in the distance, you could see the entire valley or down towards Rekos Island or to towards the clubhouse. And uh, and uh, that was the inspiration there was just these fantastic vistas. So, so here I am now trying to figure out what the uh, inspiration is going to be for this next golf course that we've been building through the fall. And I'll go to my uh, unpublished course here and uh, take a look at, uh, where are we here? Tutorial 2021 is the uh, really fantastic name. Obviously will not be the final name for this golf course, but uh, it's the one that I've given it so far. So let's take a look at this course. And I've been thinking about this over the holidays, trying to figure out, like right now I've, I have what I really like in a clubhouse and pro shop. I think it looks uh, really interesting and Really is a great starting point. I think playing back up 18 to the clubhouse is kind of a nice view. And you're going to see the first hole and a few other features as you play out away from the clubhouse. But still, at the end of the day, it's a big piece of property with a few lakes. The hills in the background are kind of hmm, not sure if it's doing it for me. Uh, I've got no ocean to work with. I've got no mountains, no gulches. I just have a routine piece of land here. I'm trying to figure out what will the inspiration be and I may even have too much water uh, for what I want to do with this, I think. But first off, I I wanted to come up with something that had not a lot of heavy rough. I want to come up with a golf course that you're playing off fairways and shortcut first rough. Unless you're in the deep stuff, unless you're right in the trees. And even then I might go with mulch as opposed to a lot of heavy rough. So very little heavy rough is the plan here. And that will affect the design as well. But I want to get the coloration right because I think I want to not only have not a lot of heavy rough, I want to have a lot of fairway cut turf in areas where the fairways normally don't exist. Some really tight grass all the way around areas where holes join, tees and greens in the clubhouse. And then go to a first rough when you get into areas between holes and heavy rough. That'll be the perimeter of the golf course is what I'm thinking. So something a little bit different and uh, I kind of want to get that in place. But First thing what I want to do is uh, I want to get the course settings right. I want to get the colors looking right for what I want to do. So I'm going to start out with the fairways 
and uh, a fairway texture. I'm at a number six now. Not bad. I'm not sure it's the color I want for having widespread fairway grass, fairway height grass in areas where they're not really fairways. I want something looking a little bit different. So I'm going to, I want something a little greener. You know, these, these colors here, this is just a little too much. Like take a look at that there. That's like neon green. No, that's not going to work. But I, uh, I was thinking about 32. And 32 looks a little dark, but it only looks dark because of the color of the roughs around it. I think I can work with 32. I think that's a believable surface for shortcut grass that's not just around uh, where typically fairways are. That it's uh, maybe possibly even kind of a Bermuda look to it. So I've got 32, and, and one thing I've discovered here is a little bit of a trick. So 32, first of all, I want to go to bow pattern. I don't want to have any mow patterns. All my courses before have had striped fairway, striped greens. I'm going with none of that. And part of that is because if I'm going to have this shortcut rough, I keep saying rough, shortcut fairway uh, in areas that aren't necessarily being played as fairway, I need to have it to look just like regular grass without the striping. So I'm going with no stripes at all. And I'm going to carry that pattern, I think, through. Fairway firmness. I'm going to make it a little soft, but it's going to be really short. So that's going to give it a little bit of roll. So let's let's try that out as kind of a, you know, a little bit of a backwards thing. Usually you have firm and fast, you know, with a lot of roll. Or you have soft with not a lot of roll. I'm going to go, uh, it hits softly, but it's short enough that it's going to run a little bit. Again, the idea is to go for something unique. You know, nobody's going to play your golf course. No one's going to play this golf course right now with the way it looks and the way it's set up. So I need to find something that's going to give it that, you know, that hook. Uh, we'll go back here and go to the rough settings and I want rough texture and what I found is that these patterns these colors they all match each other if you choose the same number now I chose 32 before in the fairways that doesn't mean that 32 looks exactly the same and watch what happens with my uh, my first cut of rough there if I go with 32 bingo so that actually complements the color of the fairway so 32 and 32 go together who knew uh, again, rough firmness. I want this to be short first rough, and I'm going to go with the same idea. I'm going to, I'm going to make this a little soft, but I'm also going to give it a little bit more roll than normal. We we'll let the rough run out. It's going to be a short rough again. So that is our rough, and then our heavy rough texture. Guess what we're going to do? Let's try that again. Let's see if 32 matches all of this. Remind, I'm going to remind you, we're not going to have a lot of heavy rough. Now, isn't that a really nice color palette? Those are all 32s, and I think it really comes together nice. It's going to give me an opportunity to do what I want with, with this. And uh, and again, for uh, when we go back to greens here, let's just try the same thing again. So greens, green texture, 32. And there we go. I can see off in the distance there, the first green is... Uh, I can probably zoom out and find one a little closer there. We've got our, our greens in place. Those are 32s. So the color palette all matches. So if you if you change your colors up, you have a 32 with a 7 with a 2, it might look a little bit wonky. But if you choose the same color consistently in all your, your surfaces for your textures, it's actually going to work out in your favor. And again, mode pattern, same idea. I could stripe up the greens a little bit. But I think since I'm doing that for the fairways, I'm going to try not striping the greens up. I know it's tough to do in a real world situation of maintenance to, to not, especially with a walker, to go back and forth and have stripes on your greens. But let's give it a try. I could still change that. Nothing is written in stone at this point. So, so there's what I've got. And my firmness for greens. I'm having a tough time with this one here. I like soft greens. You can land a ball. I like those positions precision shots but I like short greens let's go same same trend that we have with the the rest of the course let's go with soft landing but it's going to run short height of cut that type of view so there we go and that is our attempt at setting our textures so we're 10 minutes in we've set our textures take a look at this golf course like I said I'm still looking for something I think I'm going to have the perimeter be pretty solid, heavy bush where you can't see beyond it. So that's going to be an easy win. I can do that when time comes. I am going to probably try to design uh, in between the holes with some mulch, some trees, some mature trees. These trees almost look too small for me. I may have to clean a lot of these out. And, uh, and then that, like I said, that fairway, 
we're, we're gonna do some interesting things with this. I, I'm gonna try to bring the fairways right back up around the clubhouse and around all those holes. So, um, so where do you start with something like this? It's it's so strange. Towards you, usually we have a fairway and it's cut only with the fairway. Let me show you what I mean. And I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this, but uh, let's go to edit and let's go to create an ad and let's go to create surfaces and what i want to do is create fairway so what i'm talking about doing bear with me here because this probably won't be the final piece of this but what i'm saying is okay in areas where i have shared areas so let's go let's put our, our fairways actually going to run all the way up towards the t and will it extend around the i think it will it'll probably extend around the ninth green so somewhere up in here it's going to come up and then we're going to have some rough but you're going to have the fairway go back down and along in towards here so that's going to be your rough you see this gets really tricky with trying to figure out how you make this work so fairway will be inside that so it's going to have to come across probably over and towards here so let's just as an example we're going to show you kind of what i'm thinking here now you're going to think it's nuts i guarantee that you are going to think i've lost my mind on this one And it's probably going to knock out a lot of trees, but we're going to have to go back and replant. So here we are, we're getting in as we're coming towards that clubhouse idea. So I'm going to bring my fairway all the way across. And I want it to extend down in towards, eventually to go all the way down this hole, but I'm, I'm actually probably take it in around the practice facility. But, uh, and we'll see whether that ends up being there, but I'm just going to, I'm going to stop it here, even though it's going to go farther down. I'm just trying to outline what this might look like on the holes towards the clubhouse. All the way down 18. And again, we're going to clean this up. I'm going to stop it there just because I want to have... And by this point, you're probably thinking, has he lost his ever-loving mind? But... Uh, what are we looking at? This is our first hole here. And then the, down in something like this. Well, let's see how that looks. We're going to fill all that in. Okay, now fill spline. And I said I've never tried to do this. This is just an idea I've had. And I'm going to see what I can come up with here. Okay, so now I've got that interesting look. Do you see what I've got now? I've, I have these areas. It's kind of like, you know, reminds me a little bit of Augusta National where you've got this really short cut rough and embedded in that in all the 18th green bill, but we've got our, our T surface playing down and you can kind of see how this comes together now and, and much, much like Augusta, I, I have to admit, I, uh, I, I then would be able to see add some mulch. So as an example, I'm not sure what color my mulch is going to be yet, but let's see if that... I'm not sure what this is, but say we were to add a mulch here now underneath these trees. All right, so let's just do a, an area here where we've got a few trees. Probably going to take some of those trees out, but this would be a mulched in area roughly. And give us this type of a look here. Okay, that's the wrong surface. Surface. Let's do surface number two. There we go. Okay, that's what I'm looking to do. So now we're going to fill the spline. That's what we're looking for right there. Been two months. Come on. I've been trying to 
Okay, and then there's some ugly features to this that would need to go away. But I'm just trying to get an idea if this is going to work or not. And this is kind of how you design a course in the golf design is, is this type of experimenting. Because, like I said, no one's going to play your boring course if you don't have something unique about it. So, so there we go. We're obviously going to need some trees somewhere down around here. The idea is is starting to come together that we're going to build something like that. And once we get that in place, then we can really start messing with how the hole plays, cleaning up some surfaces. You know, we've got a lot of bumpy surfaces there that we're going to have to smooth out. And uh, we can put a big fuzzy brush on some of these areas that already are looking really wonky. I can smooth out some of these real quick. Working down the hill. I want to kind of smooth it on down. Smooth it down number nine as well. Something like that. So there, there's the beginning of an idea. I built it with splines so I can always tweak it and move it. And now when I'm playing from this T, I have something interesting looking. I probably still don't have enough fairway grass yet that I want to get this whole idea looking. And I definitely have too much. I don't have enough rough. Let's see what happens if I go in here and try to add... Uh, I'm just going to add some rough in a different way. Let's go rough. Let's add it with a brush this time. I'm going to put some... I want this to be rough all the way around here. I don't want this to be... There we go. I don't want that to be heavy rough. I want that to be the other rough. Some way that. And I said we're likely going to clean this up over here a little bit, but again, I'm not looking for a heavy rough in this area. And we're going to bring it down between the holes here. And definitely up here, around our pump house and our 18th hole. We're just going to kind of clean this up all around this pond. All around the second hole. here even. Okay. Obviously we're going to do it in a few other areas, likely over in here as well. All the area around the clubhouse. I want that all to be the shorter rough, not the heavy rough. And all this area coming into the facility. And you can see it's cleaning up a lot of that blotchy look that we have. Same out in here. Okay, so now all we've got is fairway and first rough. And look at that from the T. And we're already seeing how it's starting to really clean things up. And what it really does, it's kind of interesting, is it kind of really shows off the, the subtle undulations heading down the fairway there. So, And the last thing I'm going to do before I leave uh, today here is, uh, we haven't really got to number one yet, but we're getting there. Uh, I want to, I'm not sure this pond serves a purpose. Strategically, for irrigation, for even drainage, I question, I've got ponds either side of that. So I'm, I'm actually going to eliminate this pond. I don't think it has a purpose. I think it looks kind of just ugly and out of place. It doesn't play right for 18T. It doesn't look right from number one T as far as a hazard. You're not going to play that far outside that bunker. So I'm just going to likely, uh, not likely, I'm going to actually, I'm going to get rid of that pond. And we're just going to go in here. And we're just going to start lifting this up. It's a little bit bigger. A 
Maybe I'll get a little bit smaller here. Okay. Something like that. And then here. Same idea. I'm going to lift that up as well. And I think that's likely going to play a little bit better. I'll go in there, smooth it, add some undulations. Uh, we can see another opportunity in there for now adding some of that uh, mulch that took us so long to find, surface number two. And we can spline that in as well. So, you know, maybe something along here. We're going to end up having a few more trees in here. This type of idea. So like that. And then we will fill that in. And let's just smooth that path. And there we go. I'm not sure I ever smoothed this path because it looks a little rough. Let me just smooth that one as well. There we go. And let's see how it looks now from the T. See, now we're starting to get something that looks a little more interesting. A little more dynamic. And lastly, I'm not sure if I want to keep that background there. Let's go out to my settings. Whoops. We'll get it eventually. It must be under environment backdrop. Let's give us a little more interest. Come on. There we go. A little more elevation. How's that going to look from the clubhouse, for example? Yeah, I like that. I think we'll stick with that. I think this might be too much. And, yeah, that's... I think I'm not quite there. We could always change that later on. But for the size of the hills we have on the course, I think that would be more appropriate. So we'll go with that there. So anyways, we've got something. I've been thinking about doing a course like this for a very long time now. I think I can pull it off. It's just going to have to get my head around this. Uh, fairway, everywhere, all over the place. Rough, outside that fairway. Heavy rough, almost non-existent. Okay, I'm back. My battery died in my camera, but uh, just wrapping things up now. So I think we'll leave it there. We have a rough idea what we're going to do. This is going to be kind of interesting to see how this comes out. Could be a disaster. Could be the starting of that inspiration that I talk about when it comes to building your golf course to create something different. So we'll see how it works. A lot of short grass everywhere. It means I have to make the course really tough, but at the same time really subtle. So the challenge is there, and I look forward to building it. So we'll get back into it hole by hole when we come back on the next episode. Thanks for following. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It uh, helps the channel out for sure. And uh, any questions, definitely uh, ask them down below and I will get back to you. And if you've got any ideas or think this is crazy, then uh, let me know before I get too far into it. So take care, everybody. Stay safe and we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.